We're all getting really old, it seems. Charlie Woods just played the best game of his career so far, with his father, Tiger Woods, by his side as his caddy. Time really goes by so fast. It seems like this was more important to Tiger Woods than the President's Cup taking place over the weekend. It's great to see Charlie perform so well, especially in front of his father. Let's get into this and more in this video. First up, let's look at Tiger Woods caddying for his son. It's really no surprise that Tiger Woods switched his role from player to caddy for his 13-year-old son. Instead of watching Team USA continue their winning streak at the President's Cup, he was at Mission Inn Resort right on the outskirts of Orlando. One thing's for sure, golf definitely runs in Charlie Wood's blood. He shot a career-best 68, four under in the final round at the Nota Begay 3 Junior National Golf Tournament. The father, son, and caddy player duo were sporting matching golf polos, taking moments to regroup after each Hole. Of course, Tiger's shirt had the Nike swipe on it as always, and it was honestly so endearing to see them plotting their next move together on the course. It's probably very helpful to have one of the best golfers in the world as your father and caddy during an important game. The younger Woods even mentioned how his father told him to stay patient the whole game in an interview. It looks like he's proving that he has an extremely promising career ahead, one that he's building on his own because of his skills. Of course, having one of the best athletes in the world as your father and mentor has a part to play in it too. Next, let's move on to Charlie Wood's performance. Even though he started the day off with one over par, he finished very strong. In the final round on Sunday, he had two birdies and one eagle on a par 5 14th hole. He almost had an albatross on the 14th hole too. The ball just lipped off the cup and he missed. After the tournament, Charlie Woods said that he knew it would be close, but not that close. It's really refreshing to see someone as young as him have confidence in himself. Of course, that can be credited to him being able to turn to his dad Tiger Woods for advice, but he seems to really enjoy the sport. It's pretty clear that golf runs in his blood. His wings were clean and flawless throughout the whole game, and he let everyone know that he knows the art of playing steady golf really well. After the tournament was over, he let everyone know that he was grateful to win and he also had Tiger Woods to thank. Now we're diving into Charlie Woods' career so far. After all, he's only 13 and he has his whole life ahead to play. Still, he's making some pretty big moves. Ever since his appearance alongside his father at the PNC Championship, he's been turning heads left and right. Tiger and Charlie Woods finished second, with the first place going to John Daly and his son John Daly II. He didn't stop there though, proving that he's not a one-hit wonder because of his father. Charlie went on to compete in the Disney Junior Open in the boys 11-13 section on the Hurricane Junior Gold Tour. Charlie Woods also went viral on Twitter back in 2020 for a beautiful swing that left everyone impressed at the PNC Championship that year. Many golfers like world number one John Ram have also praised him because of his exceptional performance. To think that this is only the beginning of his career. Anyway, this phenomenal start has started to pique the interests of gold betting fans as well, and the bets range from how many majors he'll win to if he wins any majors at all. We can't wait to see this young man's career blossom in front of our own eyes. It's rare to have such great skills at his age. Finally, what's next for the Woods? Is Woods coming back to golf or is he finally retiring? Everyone wants to know the answer. After his accident in February 2021, things really weren't the same. The injuries that he had after that were a big deal, considering he almost had to amputate his leg after it. Woods came out and said that he'd never be able to regain full strength in his leg either. After his accident, the focus wasn't to get him to play again. It was just to have him recover properly. Against all odds, in true Tiger Woods fashion, he returned to the course for the 2022 Masters and left everyone in shock. He was even asked straight up if he has any plans to retire anytime soon. He responded by saying, who me? Retire? No. He has, however, stepped back from the PGA Tour and is working on a reduced schedule. Woods also said that this might be his last time playing at St. Andrews, his all-time favorite course. He said even if he does end up playing it in a few years' time, he won't have the same capacity he has right now. As for his son, Charlie's career is in full swing right now. At the rate he's going at right now, he's on the way to winning a major before he's 30. Apparently, the odds are 19-2 to 2 
plus 950 that he will win 1 and 1 to 15 minus 1500 that he won't. Even though we can't rely on these predictions completely, one thing's for sure, the younger Woods is definitely leaving an impression and making his mark in the world of golf. Now let's move on to some other golf related news. First things first, let's dig into some updates about the whole Live versus PGA Tour drama. Anyone who watches golf is aware of the fact that the golf world is divided into two. Ever since the Saudi-backed Live Tour came into existence, it's had many critics, the main one being their rival, the PGA Tour. A lot of PGA Tour stars like Phil Mickelson and Brian DeChambeau left for Live. Everyone was shocked to see it because nobody would expect these longtime PGA Tour loyalists to leave for Live in a split second. That was a while ago though. Things were kind of looking up because the two rival tours decided to be cordial with each other until a few golfers at Live filed a lawsuit against the PGA Tour. They filed it because they thought they had been unfairly suspended from the tour because of their participation in Live events. However, there's been an interesting turn of events because a few golfers, including Phil Mickelson, are dropping the suit. Yep, you heard that right. Mickelson, along with Tyler Gooch, Hudson Swafford, and Ian Poulter didn't give a reason as to why they're dropping the suit, but it seems pretty abrupt. Next, let's look at a new golfer who left Live for the PGA Tour, and he's thriving. If you haven't heard of Tom Kim, you should watch this part of the video carefully. He has the potential to be the new up-and-coming face of golf. The 20-year-old Korean seems to be gaining popularity very rapidly, especially after he turned down Live Golf's offer. Kim might just be the new PGA Tour favorite, and we're all for it. His performance in the President's Cup over the weekend was exceptional, especially considering that he's a rookie. His quirky pre-match routine of doing jumping jacks has everyone thoroughly entertained and very intrigued. He's found himself a comfortable place on the PGA Tour, and that's great for him because it's been his dream since he was a child. He proved himself in the Asian Tour, turned down offers from Liv, and waited for his main goal, the PGA Tour. Tom Ju Young Kim made it to the President's Cup after barely six months on the PGA Tour, and that's awesome to see. Even the best golfers like Trevor Im Immelman have praised him and his pure joy and anticipation. Kim's definitely making history one day. Finally, an interesting collaboration between the LPGA and the AJGA is brewing. Let's get into it. Golf is coming to New York City area in the LPGA's latest event. The venue is only the most high-profile golf club in the area, Liberty National Golf Club. Now, who's hosting this grand event? Michelle Wee West, who just recently retired from the LPGA, is the host which makes this whole thing so much more exciting. There are going to be two tournaments that will run parallel to each other for a period of four days. Here's where the American Junior Golf Association comes in. 120 pros will be competing, but so will 24 of the best junior girl players. The purse for the pros tournament is pretty big, $2.75 million, and the Mizuho Americas Open Trophy. After she retired, West said she wanted to make golf for women more inclusive and give them more opportunities opportunities, and this is the perfect way. We can't wait to see how the next few days in New Jersey unfold. That's a wrap for this video. What did you think of the father-son duo? Is Charlie Woods going to be as iconic as his father? Who's fighting who? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.